hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so dear friends today i am going to start uh, the model fourth of uh, mathematics engineering mathematics third it is for ec branch students okay so let's take this uh, first topic over here that is higher order linear order differential equations with constant coefficients okay on that particular basis you have some questions which you have to solve from the model question papers okay first of all this is the basic le lecture let me cover it later on uh, you will understand once you understand the concepts you will easily solve the problems on this particular topic okay the general form of a linear differential equation with constant coefficient of order n it is given by this is your equation general form equation a naught dn y divided by dx raised power n okay plus a1 d raised power n minus 1 upon into y upon dx raised power n minus 1 okay so in some books you will find p naught p1 p2 so don't worry for that these are the constants whatever you take so i am taking here a naught then a a2 d raised power n minus 2 y uh, into y divided by dx raised power n minus 2 you see here it is easy to you don't need to remember actually this equation later on i will uh, tell you which equation you have to use in your questions okay this is the general form first a naught a1 a2 d raised power n d raised power n minus 1 d raised power n minus 2 right accordingly you have to uh, go through the higher order terms so dx raised power n dx raised power n minus 1 dx raised power n minus 2 so it is easy to remember over here plus a n y is equal to q of x okay so if i just put this d upon dx see here this is d by dx if i just put it let d is equal to d upon dx okay this is called as derivative operator derivative operator okay right then uh, i have to just put d value instead of d by dx so i can write here a naught d raised power n capital d i am replacing this d by dx with uh, d over here capital d okay i can write dn into y plus a1 d raised power n minus 1 into y plus a2 d raised power n minus 2 into y so so on plus a n times y which is equal to q of x i hope you are getting this right so then i can take this y y y y common from all the terms so i can write here a a naught d raised power n plus a1 d raised power n minus 1 plus a2 d raised power n minus 2 multiplied by y is equal to sorry so so on yes uh, i have taken from all the terms uh, y common okay so i can write inside here sorry this is your plus a n actually it, it is here plus so so on up to a n okay multiplied by y is equal to q of x okay this becomes your equation so now you are observing here these all terms are in the d format that is d term is present here d raised power n d raised power n minus 1 d raised power n minus 2 like that it will go on so i can put it as i can write it as f of function of d into y function of d into y is equal to q of x as this equation is the function of d over here okay this is your standard equation okay i can write it as standard form of higher order differential equation okay so what is it f of d into y is equal to q of x so you know already every equation has a solution okay in order to find the equi uh, sorry the solution of this uh, standard form of higher order differential equation so there are two particular functions which you have to calculate one is the complementary function otherwise other one is particular integral okay so first we will take the complementary function method to find complementary function it is most important one and in the most cases you are supposed to calculate this one only okay so com complementary function you are supposed to calculate okay so i can consider this equation once you have to calculate this uh, complementary function you have to take this f of dy f of d into y is equal to zero when you are just uh, calculating the complementary function okay so the auxiliary equation if i have to make the auxiliary equation for this particular equation so i will just write here auxiliary equation is equal to by putting this d you have to put uh, m over here okay put d is equal to m in this particular equation suppose it is for, uh, second equation so put d is equal to m in equation second i can write here f of m is equal to zero okay this becomes your auxiliary equation so auxiliary equation is equal to f of m which is equal to zero 
okay so i can solve this uh, equation over here uh, whatever the questions whatever in the questions it is mentioned so you have to put it as zero and solve uh, the equations in the calci itself calculator scientific cal calculator over here okay so i can write here solve the above mentioned equation that is f of m is equal to zero above equation and find roots you are supposed to find the roots of an equation so there are types of roots and for different types of roots there are different types of complementary functions so let us see uh, what are the different types of roots what are the different complementary functions so see here dear friends there are four types of roots over here one is real and different means m1 and m2 suppose i will take here example minus 2 is sorry one i am taking here and another one is two these are the real numbers and different ones so one is different from obviously two so m1 and m2 in the general representation real and equal m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m so i can take here suppose minus 2 and minus 2 these are the real roots and equal roots okay so imaginary and different when you are getting in terms of i or in terms of g the roots were there in the calculator so that is imaginary and different and sometimes imaginary and equal means you will get imaginary numbers but they are equal only the uh, sign difference will be there so these are the four types of roots so for these four types uh, they have the different complementary functions so real for real and different i am taking here the case for real and different one okay so what is the complementary function so i can write here the complementary function so complementary function for this real and different will be c1 e power m1 x plus c2 e power m 2x okay these are for the two roots if uh, there is the equation uh, it has the two roots then you have to take complementary function c1 e power m1 x plus c2 e power m2 x if in case you are getting three roots you can uh, you can write c1 e power m1 x plus c2 e power m2 x plus c3 e power m3 x accordingly accordingly you can vary the values over here m1 m2 m3 m4 like that okay so this is for the real and different ones okay you should remember these formulas so for next case that is real and equal so second part is real and equal okay so for this the complementary function is given so complementary function is equal to c1 plus c2 x e power mx okay next if uh, there are uh, more than two roots you can take c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x e power mx okay this is for the real and equal uh, once you are getting real and equal roots you should use this equation for the complementary function okay the next case is that is imaginary and different for third case that is imaginary and different different roots once you are getting this case so you have to take complementary function as complementary function is equal to e power alpha x into c1 cos of beta x plus c2 sine of beta x this is your complementary function for imaginary and different roots so next last but not least that is your imaginary and equal roots okay imaginary and equal for this complementary function is given by e power alpha x into c sorry c1 right plus c2 x c1 plus c2 x cos of beta x plus c3 plus c4 x sine of beta x this is your complementary function for this imaginary and uh, equal roots okay i hope uh, this video is beneficial for you people this is a very basic lecture of uh, ordinary differential equation so in the next video we will try to solve the questions from the module question paper so thanks for watching my video